Welcome to S3D Gamer Zone. I'm Rico Starr. Back in 1995, we were treated with a little movie you might have heard of called Toy Story. This movie became an instant classic, raking in over 191 million in the United States and Canada and over 361 million worldwide. It's come to have a permanent home into many people's video collections. Since then, on October 2nd, 2009, they have re-released Toy Story in Disney Digital 3D, and it was a double feature with Toy Story 2 for two weeks in the theaters. With the huge popularity of the movies came a massive wave of merchandising. From dolls to cars to clothing and books, the list just goes on and on. And of this came the video games. Just released on June 15, 2010, Toy Story 3 The Game. It's a multi-platform game, but today we're going to be focusing on the PC version and how the game looks and feels in S3D. The system I'm running the game on is NVIDIA's 3D Vision Bundle, and the drivers I'm using are version 257.21, which at this state is the latest ones. Seems that Disney's really starting to take 3D gaming seriously as Toy Story 3 looks great in 3D. Hardly any noticeable issues except in the map screen when you're selecting where your character goes next. There seems to be a slight amount of ghosting issues there and also in the clouds in the game. The ghosting in the clouds doesn't seem to be present in all the levels and occasionally it's not even there at all. Generally, the game looks great, so I'm going to show you a couple of levels of how it looks in 3D, that way you can see for yourself. My operating system was Windows 7-64-bit, and my 3D system is NVIDIA 3D Vision Bundle. It appears in your mission list. The mission list keeps track of all the mission details help you complete them. Hey, you see that compass in the right corner there? It'll point to where you need to go.
bullseye to infinity and beyond. Well guys, there you have it, that's Toy Story 3 on the PC in S3D. The game is more for a younger crowd, but I still very much so appreciate the efforts that have been put into the game to make it look better in 3D, so I'm now ready to give it my final score. The game has very little anomalies, and the only thing that is holding it back is the ghosting issues in some of the clouds, map screen, and cutscenes as well. So for these reasons, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and if you like my videos, please feel free to comment on them, rate, or subscribe. I'm Rico Starr, and this is S3D GamerZone.